Hi guys, Dr. Sean here. Hope everybody is staying safe and doing well for the most part. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's going on. Obviously, we're, we're dealing with the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. And in light of what's going on, um, I wanted to, my, my topic today is gonna be about um, dental health in relation to respiratory health. The coronavirus, uh, one of the symptoms is shortness of breath that actually causes an uh, acute infection in respiratory, uh, in the respiratory uh, system. So today I wanted to talk to you about how important it is to maintain your oral health or sort of relation to lung health. Well, the bacteria in uh, decay and in gum disease can actually start to build up and multiply and it can actually be inhaled, like droplets of it can actually be inhaled into the lungs, therefore causing potential lung issues, and especially for people that have pre-existing conditions like asthma or COPD, it can actually make it worse. So it's very important, especially if you have those pre-existing conditions, even more important to make sure your dental health is, is in the correct space. So it's very important. And if you know anybody out there that has any kind of um, respiratory issues, let them know. Like if they can't get to the dentist for, for any, any, any sort of treatment, then make sure they're, they're brushing and flossing at home and removing as much plaque as possible. Another uh, thing that can actually cause um, lung issues or affect people that have pre-existing lung conditions is, and probably have not even thought about this, but actually dentures. So dentures actually build up a lot of plaque. And if these patients are not soaking their dentures or cleaning them, then it's just building up and multiplying on top of each other. So there's a higher chance that they can actually inhale, um, inhale this and it can travel down to their, down their respiratory tract, down to their lungs. So make sure all your patients that actually have dentures, make sure they know they have to be cleaning their dentures and soaking them and making sure they're completely clean when they put them, in, put them on in the morning and also when they take them off before they go to bed. Another uh, thing that can actually um, cause some buildup of bacteria are medications um, that cause dry mouth. So saliva is actually protecting our teeth from bacteria. So if we have dry mouth, then basically what's gonna happen, we're gonna start building up more and more bacteria. So in this case, you want your patients to be chewing some kind of gum, for instance. Anything that actually can express or deliver a little bit more saliva into their mouth. They can also use biotin. So we wanna make sure that our mouths are full of saliva and they're not dry, because that's gonna help fight against any bacteria buildup. So guys, just remember, it's very important, your dental health is completely correlated with your lung health. So it's very important that we tell our patients and we ourselves do it ourselves, that we really take care of our, our oral health. So this is when you're gonna want to make sure you recommend that burst brush or that burst floss. We need to make sure that we're constantly on a daily br brushing and flossing our teeth, especially during this time, because a lot of patients are not going to the dentist because it's not essential treatment. So they're not getting in their recalls or their cleaning. So it's even important to somehow get out there on your social platforms and let your patients know that they need to still be flossing. They, st they need to still be brushing their teeth. Anything they can do as much as possible in order to get them prepared and get their mouth in a healthy place until they come back to you, okay? So it was great talking to you guys. I hope uh, next time we chat, we're, we're in a little bit better times, but um, have a great day. Bye guys.